Hey guys, welcome to RPA Feed and today's topic is Simulate Keywords in A360 Platform. So I have opened Bot Editor and let's navigate to Simulate Keystroke command. And this Simulate Keystroke actions will allow you to mimic the keyboard actions. Mimic the keyboard actions. What, what does that mean? That means if you're opening a window or a browser and you want to insert or perform any operation from a keyboard, you can mimic that in RPA using these keystrokes, like this, this action basically. So when, when you drag and drop this simulate keystroke action from simulate keystroke package, you see these many options, like you get options to select window, then you have option to resize the window, then the keystrokes that you want to enter and the delay you want to mention between the keystrokes. Suppose you want to enter two, three key, uh, keystrokes simultaneously, then you can specify a delay over there. So first of all, why we use keystrokes? So cert, uh, there are certain operations that require entering inputs from the keyboard, right? At that point, we need some command or some action that can mimic us the keyboard actions right that can mimic keyboard actions for us for that purpose we we use simulate keystrokes mostly it's suggested in rpa that we should not rely on keystrokes because they are time consuming that depends on the performance of the end user system or the end user uh, or the or the machine on which the bot is running right so keystrokes generally are the last choice of preference we should always go with recorder command if you want to mimic some actions. But there are situations where it is impossible to uh, like avoid keystrokes. We have to use keystrokes. The, the, that kind of situation arises. So at that time we can use keystrokes, but you need to make sure you specify delays between keystrokes and you put your code in try catch blocks, do proper error handling and logging. With that, let's get started. So simulate keystroke has these options, browser application uh, and variable. So this is the browser window, which you can select from here. You can do a refresh windows and there will be a list of open windows. We'll select RPA feed, RPA feed is the blog. Uh, so here we can use regex or string. So what does that do? Uh, in string, you can mention the value in this format. So for all the notepad, which are starting with some random title, right? Window names that are starting with this title. All the notepad documents will be, uh, you can refer to the, dyna if, if your notepad file is generated dynamically, so you can use this value as your identifier. Or you can use pattern. So there you can specify a pattern, a regex pattern for your window title. But for now, we'll go with RPA feed uh, star. It doesn't matter whatever, anything can, uh, any text can be there instead of star. So we have used star. So if I have multiple windows open with this title, I'm, I don't, I don't need to worry about what is there after RPA feed so that I can specify star mark. So this is how you use regex wildcard character. So here, what we will do is the bot will go to this uh, browser. Uh, and it will try to enter F12. So I just want to, I just want to create a bot that goes to my website. I'll show you uh, that goes to my website blog and hits F12. So once it hits F12, we get this source code, right? We, we get the HTML source code window. So I want to achieve that using bot. So we will enter hit enter the keystrokes over here. So here you can see insert keystroke and from here you can select F12. That's it. And you can click back on insert keystroke button that the keyboard will disappear. So th this is how you enter the keystrokes using on screen keyboard or you can directly type in from your keyboard as well. Totally fine. Both the options are fine. And you can resize the window. Uh, the window which is going to be open or uh, is already open, you can 
uh, resize it depending on your requirement. We will keep it as is. And here we get another radio button option uh, to select credential. Suppose you have a credentials in your locker or credential vault, you can select it from here. You can pick it from, you know, pick up your locker and pick up the credentials and the attribute you want to use. Basically this option is for whenever you go to a website which has a username and password, you need to enter something, right? So at that time, if you have created credential, you can pick that credential using this keystroke. So we have seen two use cases here. We will go with F12, the first use case. And this is the option to uh, specify delay. Here it's only one particular keystroke if it was multiple like control C, control A, control V. So similarly, if there were such, such uh, keystrokes, we can increase the delay. Uh, sorry, not increase the delay. This is the uh, delay between a particular keystrokes. So here if there were two keystrokes, so the delay between performing those two keystrokes will be 10 milliseconds. The, the option here, the value here is in milliseconds. So we'll keep it 10 and let's save this and let's run it and this window is like you can select from browser window you can perform actions on your browser window or applications or you can variableize that so when you click on variableize it takes the variable also here we we had coded uh, we had selected browser but it what got converted on the fly into browser window you can see that browser variable over here browser one and you can see the text it contains. It contains an application uh, window which uh, is a, of value RPA feed. You can double click that to view it. So let's run this. We have saved our bot and let's run it. So it should open the website and perform F12. So you can see the bot executed successfully. And that's how we use a uh, simulate keystrokes in A360 platform. So guys, if you like the video, uh, please subscribe to our channel and thank you.